who am I? The geek protagonist. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I had the box, like I said, so I moved that over. I think and I hope this is my new phone case. Because I couldn't find it. And I was not happy. I ended up having to buy two cases. One, bought this, which I was going to do this anyway. Because this is more of an at-home kickstand thing. Um... So it was going to be more that. It's actually a better case than I thought it was going to be. I got that one from Amazon. But then they pushed it back by a day or so. So then I ended up having to get one for five below, which is okay. But, you know, eh, this is not it. But hopefully it's one of these. I know it's around here somewhere. So this is Batman Death in the Family interactive movie. I have not watched this one yet. Um, Looks like this also has a digital code for movies anywhere, which reminds me, I have to call about airplane. I keep forgetting. I have to do that, and hopefully they'll still honor it. Uh, but this is the digital code thing. And you can't have it. Uh, viewer's choice, pick your own ending. That's really cool. It'll be added to there, which will in turn go to my voodoo. So I, since I get so many movies, I was like, I used to not use the codes. So a few of them actually expired, but a couple of them haven't. So I'm like, all right. So I'm piling up the ones that expired, and then I'm gonna see if I can catch Voodoo on a um a cheap time, and then see if I can get them that way. They had this two dollar thing where you could scan a movie and you would pay two bucks, but it like barely works. And I was like, that would be so smart because I would do that with so many of my movies. Let's see here especially the ones that were supposed to have a digital thing so i have to check as long if it's like four bucks or so i'm going to periodically just grab them and do it what's this what's this oh make it a block plus tonight get it so uh this is one of my favorite christmas movies Ever, my friend introduced it to me, called Santa's Sleigh. I I think I have another random case. I have some old like CD cases that people I knew were going to throw them out. So I, I actually take the cases because when I get movies like this, I can put them in there and I just write on top, hey, Santa's Sleigh. So I was like, yeah, let's make it a blockbuster night. Jeez. That was old school. This says, do not bend. I have a funny feeling it's a possible crowdfunder. Could be wrong. <sighs> Not a crowdfunder. Ah, Elsewhere Volume 2. I finally will get the chance to read this. I read Volume 1. I actually thought it was a really good read. I will review it. I'll tell you what I think. I'll give it my, you know, normal ratings. Uh, usually I would do a... I, when I, I figured out that when I do reviews for, like, books and stuff, I'm going to rate it where I normally rate anything else, like a movie or anything. But then I'm going to, like, attach to it, like, okay, if you like this movie, you should try I'm going to try to do that. Like, you should buy this. If you like this type of story, then you should buy that. Or if this is garbage, no one should read it kind of thing all right next on the list and yes i do enjoy slicing these open <laughs> let's see what we got Ugh. try to keep these off camera so you'll see. Oh, yes, 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 yes. My friend actually told me about these. I got to read an issue or two. I really liked it. It lost a lot of their comics. So this is mine, but I figured out with him, I already gave him one thing. I'm going to kind of help him replenish his comics and mangas, but it's going to be more geared towards him, like the stuff he really, really likes. Uh, where he was grabbing things before single issues, and he had to get rid of them. I think volumes uh, will work better for him in the space, and it's just easier. So he's the one to turn me on to these. Uh, Fells Five, I love Jim Zub, Frost Giants Fury, and uh, 
skull kickers, which I'll read one day, but he's turned me on to him. He's like, yo, you got to read the rest of these. They're really good. And I liked what I read so far. So I was like, you know what? And I like Jim's up. So I said, yeah, got another package here. Told you trying to make these a little shorter, trying to keep flying. But as you can tell, I have a lot of things that I watch and a lot of things that I read. What did it cut? So this box, I was trying to avoid that. I guess it's unavoidable. This is a good box, so I was like trying not to rip it, but it won't come out the seams. So I guess, yeah, even now it won't come fully out. Oh, this is from my job. Nice. So it's a type of uh, mug. Really, really cool. Thank you for all your work you do here. And here's the 2021. Actually, I think this is a thermos, like a therm. Yeah. This is one of those thermos. I always love these and stuff because I drink a lot of water. I was like, yeah, different. I didn't even know they sent me something. <laughs> uh, I said, this is like the, like Christmas is a little bit ago. So yeah, sheesh. Now I'm not going to open this. I already know what it is. And I'm glad because that means all the boxes come this way. Oops. So I'll have to cover that. All the boxes come this way, but this is, uh, uh, my hero mag, uh, no common America. I can tell you that right now. I know that one is because I already opened the other one and that was the black bunny hops. All right, we're going to do two more and then I'm going to do, uh, do this later. I got some other stuff I got to do today, uh, before it gets too late in the evening. And I'll come back to this later. Once I'm done by running around. Try to get through these. My job also for Thanksgiving gave these cupcake things out. Delicious. Um, my mom even ate a couple. And she's like on a super diet. They're really, really good. I shared them with uh, my parents and stuff. It's really nice at this place. This place is a good place. Yes. All right. And I'm definitely going to end the video on here because this is great. So if you are a fan of Westerns, there, then you know the Duke. Uh, there's some Clint Eastwoods I need to get to. Actually, I know there's a store near me that actually I think have a few. So I'm going to try to actually see if I can get them. Got to remember. Let's take this out, as a matter of fact, because I want to. So. We have the Duke, Sons of Katie Elder, which is an interesting one. Got a little beat up there, but that's fine. And the Shootist, John Wayne and Lauren, Lauren Bacall. Now, John Wayne was also uh, Cockburn in, well, I know that Rooster Cockburn, uh, as they called him, whatever. Now, this, I didn't mind because I, I needed some more Westerns anyway. Like I said, Clint Eastwood. So Qu Clint Eastwood to me is like my quintessential Western. Hang them high, the good, the bad, the ugly, fistful of dollars. Like when I think of a, a true Western thing, Clint Eastwood is the clincher. Uh, that's why I love Back to the Future 3 because he thinks of Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood is just, mm, just had it. His son did a Western. I got to check that out. His son that looks just like him. Um, but the Duke. John Wayne. I don't care if you like Westerns or not. If you've never seen this movie, The Shootist, watch it. It is by far one of the greatest Westerns I've ever seen. It's one of the 
coolest different movies like westerns usually have very simple plots it's like the sheriff has to protect the town or you got to deal with the outlaw you get your few i gotta get a cherokee kid i actually really like that movie i don't care what anyone says with sinbad that was an excellent movie and i have to own i had it on i have it on tape but i wanted to d uh, like a blu-ray or dvd or something and there was one that had paul logan in it and cuba Gooden jr and i think it was called lightning fast or whatever that was actually a really good one where he was uh, deaf. No, he was mute. He was going to was mute. And Paul Logan was an aging outlaw, but he was starting to like, his, his vision was starting to go. And he had to teach him how to be an outlaw. It, it was a very good movie. Uh, I think it was like Lightning Jack or something. So those are a couple of Westerns I need to get my hands on too. I have my thing here. I'll make a note of that. Anyway, The Shootist. Watch it. When I rewatch this, because I haven't watched it in a while, I will review it. You want to talk about a good, uh, just a good movie? Um, it's old school. Afflicted with a terminal illness, John Bernard uh, Books. John Wayne, the last of the legendary gunfighters, quietly returns to Carson City for medical attention from his old friend, Dr. Holster, James Stewart. Aware that his days are numbered, the troubled man seeks solace and peace in a boarding house run by a widow, Lauren Bacall, and her son, who is played by Ron Howard. However, it is not Book's fate to die in peace as he becomes embroiled in one last valiant battle. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's This Western is different from pretty much any Western. Um, you want to know what it reminds you of? Logan. Yeah. So we got the shooters and the sons of Katie Elder, which I'm very happy about. I need to come up with my Westerns a little. I will be, I think I, I got to remember. So I got to write down. I think it's like Lightning Jack. I'll find out. It's Paul Logan and stuff. I just need to look at the two movies. Um, Cherokee Kid. And I had Gregory Hines in it. The late, great Gregory Hines. And any Clint Eastwood Western. Santa Slay, which is one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. I thank my boy every day for showing it to me because I never heard about it. Goldberg plays Santa Claus. Watch it. It's cheesy, but it's also good. It's better than it should be. And that's the thing that makes it so enjoyable. It's a crazy movie, but it's if you don't if you don't sit there and go, I gotta analyze it, just watch it and enjoy it. It's way better than it should be. <laughs> for the budget and stuff batman death in the family i cannot wait to watch this dc showcase animated shorts uh includes additional sergeant rock adam strange phantom stranger and death uh, i actually watched those too nice this so this is kind of like when they came out with black adam uh superman versus black adam and then they had a bunch of animated shorts all these shorts were good Audio commentary on all five DC Showcase animated shorts. Uh, this one is interesting because it's the movie Under the Red Hood. So based on the iconic comic Batman, The Death in the Family, and the animated movie Under the Red Hood. So it's based around Under the Red Hood, the movie. I'm going to actually go through every single option and see what it is. Uh, this box here is Common America. Oh, uh, let's cover that. This is a Yeti thing. I got to clean this little... Uh, it got stuff in the package. From my job, which I'm very happy about. Thank you, guys. You, you're awesome. I hope I can uh, stay on. It's actually a very... Overall, it's a really nice place. Um, Frost Giants Fury. Fells 5. And Elsewhere Volume 2. I need to get out there volume three. I keep saying it. And I need to finish that story. So these are all this is here. Got a couple more. I'll be back later today. It's really, really early, like two in the morning right now. Uh, so this is Geek Protagonist. You stay safe. You stay healthy. You stay real. And I'll see ya.